okay now i'm i'm i will try to you know bring in the perspective of investment versus high frequency trading and how they differ high frequency trading firms are essentially trying to make very very razor thin razor thin margins and they are not trying to make 10% on a trade they are just trying to make 0.05% on a trade so their profit margins are very small whereas for long term investors it's very large the transaction cost for high frequency traders are smaller because they are doing much much more volume whereas it's opposite for long term investment uh, the capital requirements are small as previously discussed whereas for long term it's higher and the the thing is that whatever high frequency trading firms are doing whatever profit margins they are taking however small they are they are doing it consistently so their consistency of profit is the one which is making the money and for long term investing they can afford to have a few uh, bloopers on on an average so therefore the total profit potential for high frequency trading firms is very small in comparison to what long term investing does okay now i i'm just trying to you know uh work out the logic for being an hft firm so if you if you look at a bell curve or a gaussian curve or a normal distribution so you would see that most of the opportunities lie in the middle of the gaussian curve okay but there the expected returns are very very small okay so uh, if if i move two standard deviations away from the mean of the gaussian curve or the bell curve or the normal distribution i would see that there are bigger returns okay now long term investors since they have higher costs they would want to target higher returns however high frequency traders can trade within the uh, two standard deviation range of the uh, normal curve or the gaussian curve so therefore they are ta targeting smaller profits and long term investors are targeting higher profits so a typical high frequency trade would want to make 15 paisa after costs and the cost being 35 paisa so essentially they are trying to make 0.5 rupees whereas a standard deviation is essentially plus to uh, plus to minus 5 rupees so therefore this risk reward is not meaningful to long term investor because for them they are putting 0.5 rupees at risk uh, whereas they are only make, so they are, they are making only return of 0.1% so this is not so as a long term investor i would not want to make 0.1% but for high frequency if they can make 0.1% in 5 minutes they are fine with it okay so small returns are appealing to high frequency trading firms because they can make it many more times and therefore if the standard deviation is let's say plus minus 6 rupees okay and the expected return is 0.5 so after 100 trades the expected return will remain the same but standard deviation would reduce so standard deviation basically sigma by root over n and n being 100 so therefore from 6 it would reduce to 0.6 and if you if you are a bit uh, you know uh, if you are a bit uh, conversant with finance you would have heard of sharpe ratio sharpe ratio is nothing but the but the ratio of expected returns divided by the risk the risk is risk is the standard deviation here it could go either way it could be a profit or a loss okay and the return is uh, as stated above so return by risk is uh, sharpe ratio so here the sharp ratio is point uh, is 4.0 if one does 100 trades but however high frequency trading firms would doing 100000 uh, 10000 such trades so their sharp ratio is something like 40 however if you look at sharp ratio of um, long term funds so let's say some a mutual fund a mutual fund would have a sharp ratio of 0.2 to 0.5 so therefore what happens is is that the amount of capital which we are putting into high frequency trading is very small but the returns on that is higher whereas the opposite is true for uh, uh, for long term investment so long term investment you could think of as a big big corporation whereas small uh, whereas a high frequency trading firm you could think of as a garage firm okay which is into innovation which is trying to make money from uh, something which is uh, which can be turned out very fast so something like that 